Hashtag Trill Talk. Yes, family, what's good? It's your boy Jeds. I'm back with another Trill Talk. Hashtag Inner Standing Inner Space. Hashtag Dirty Woke. Hashtag Food for Thought. You hear me? Um, I feel like I, I seem like I'm always chilling in some kind of park, some kind of green space environment. Now, that's deliberate because um, it's what I enjoy. It's the type of environment I enjoy. So I feel like I'm most myself and more centered when I'm in these type of environments around trees and nature. I've been seeing bear rats. <laughs> There's bear rats running around here. Don't ever get it twisted. But same way, it looks good. Aesthetically pleasing and that. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get straight to the chill talk, man. Boom. Now I like my little pause. If you, if you see a beautiful flower and you pick it, you're becoming a murderer to the thing you once thought was beautiful. If you see a beautiful flower and you appreciate it, you can come back daily to revisit that flower and watch it bloom and watch it grow. I guess what, what this is saying, which is like self-evident is, a lot of the time we're attracted to things. A lot of the time we love the way that things look, sound, smell, and make us feel. And then we try to bottle that. We try to encapsulate. We try to take that essence with us or make it part of our daily routine. And, and essentially, that could cause to its death. That could cause its death. For instance, see a hot girl, they like her, she's beautiful, she looks nice. But all you really want to do is make her yours. You want to turn her into your property. And she's not going to be that beautiful thing that, or that beautiful person that you first came across. Because your hands are too callous. Your hands are too forceful. When we go to natural spaces, we like to tinker. When we come across beauty, we like to interfere, interfere with the beauty until the beauty is not what it once was. Same thing with the gallium. They meet certain man, they like their energy, they like their vibe, and then they, they inadvertently do everything they can to suppress that vibe by taking that man out of his element, taking that man out of his natural environment and trying to place him in a false environment or a fake environment. Place him in circumstances and situations that his beauty is not going to shine in. The thing that you liked about him, you know, the attractive thing is not going to shine in. You see a beautiful flower and you think, wow, amazing look at it you know you stop give it a smell and you think wow this is a strange interesting beautiful facet of nature and then you pick it and once you pick it and you take it home and you put it in a vase you've removed it from its environment you've rem removed it from the place that made it so beautiful in the first place the soil the shade, the, 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 the location, the southwest facing location that gets um, premium sunlight, whatever it is, you removed it from the environment that created that beauty. And you've placed it somewhere else and you wonder why, bit by bit, the petals start to dry up and fall off. The stem starts to get discolored. And before you know it, your beautiful plant is dead. It can't be enjoyed by anyone anymore. I guess what I'm saying here is take your time with the beautiful things that you see out there, man. The beautiful things, beautiful places, beautiful people. The way we have um, conservation areas, right? To try and conserve uh, beautiful places, conserve nature, so it becomes more untouched by man, where you can enjoy it without disturbing it. This is what we need to be doing with other people and other things. It's not just green, 
pieces of land. Yeah. It's not just green pieces of land that we need to conserve, it's each other. And when you meet beautiful people or you're in beautiful situations, enjoy it for what it is. Stop trying to always take everything you think beautiful, everything you think is beautiful, and stop trying to take it home. Stop trying to put a leash around it, stop trying to own it, stop trying to make it your pet. Because it belongs in nature. And you need to go to nature or be as close to nature to enjoy these natural be beauties, these natural, naturally beautiful things, places, people. I hope I'm making sense, man. So take your time when you see the beauty. Take your time, man. You know? If you hold a beautiful flower too hard, you crush it, you know? Learn to be gentle, learn how to appreciate without disturbing, I suppose. Learn to appreciate beauty without disturbing it, changing it or shifting it, man, you know? That's it, man. I hope this was, uh, I hope this was beneficial for you lot. I hope somebody somewhere got something out of it. I got something out of it. Because personally, I think I'm not only the beautiful flower, but I'm also the observer that, that enjoys looking at beautiful flowers. And to be cautious, to observe it without disturbing it so that the next person can enjoy it. And, and so that it can be the, all it can be, rather than me limiting it or stifling it by trying to put it in my pocket or put it on my windowsill or put it in that vase that my mum gave me. I should leave it in its wild environment and return to that environment to enjoy it if I want to enjoy it. Yeah, peace, man. That's it. Chill Talks, we out. It's your boy Jeds. Back with another banger. Happy Monday. Catch me on a Chaluminati live live stream. And yeah, man, check, check me out on all other digital platforms, social media and that. You know what I mean? Big at yourself, man. I'm out.